Okay, so let's clean up an image. Let's open up our Cricut. And I'm gonna open up my internet because I want to save this photo right here. I, I found this photo and I wanna save it. So on a phone, you would select it and you would save the photo or screenshot. On a computer, I'm going to right click and save image as. I can see here where it's going to save. So make sure to um, remember where you saved it. I'm gonna save it as wow. Okay, and then I'm gonna go over to my Cricut design space and I'm going to click on the upload button over here. I'm going to upload that image that we just saved, okay? So let's go to browse. I can see here that it's in the pictures and there's the wow that I wanna save. Okay, so here it is and it's asking me, do I wanna select simple, moderately complex or complex? I know that most people say to um, always choose the complex. I actually choose the simple. I'll show you what I do. I press continue and then over here in the advanced options, I modify this down to two. And then from here, the image is already essentially cleaned up for us because the background is already transparent. And what we mean by cleaning up is making what we want to cut out, okay? So if I click on here, preview, which we always wanna do, this is what it would look like when it gets to the cut. So once I cut it, that's what it would do. All this darkness is everything that's going to be left behind everything that is cut out in this checkerboard, which, which is a, a transparency, right? Because we've removed it, is going to be cut out, okay? So let me show you something. So if I was to select this and that, and that, and that, and then press preview, what do you think is gonna happen, okay? Let's see. Bam, wow. That's how we cut things uh, inside of our letters. Sometimes we will have an image where, um, let me go back just one more. I wanna show you something because we had a, a member the other day that needed some help with this um, particular image. And what we ended up doing was, is figuring out, we were taking out too much of it, okay? So again, when when we're cleaning up an image, oftentimes we're told to clean out all of the white space. We're told just clean out white space. So here we go, we start, you know, deleting any and all white space, thinking, okay, well, that's, that's what I wanna do. That's what I was told to do. When you go to continue and you look, okay, this is our print and cut. This is what would happen if we were to print this image out and then we were to send it to our Cricut machine to cut. Right, So if we were using heat transfer or shipping labels, if we were using decals, making a cool decal for our car. Um, in this case, our member was making some really nice dominoes. Look at how it's cutting out though. This is our preview and this is telling us how it's gonna cut out. And what it was doing was it was cutting out this space in between next to the bear's face, which she did not want. And so in that case, we don't want to take out all of the white space, okay? Let me back up so you can see. We don't want to take out all the white space. So if you can see what I just did, okay? So there was the transparency. I took that out. So now it's showing white, right? We might not want to take out all of our white space. Let's see what it looks like under our preview. Do you see that? Okay, so now it's just going to cut out around. Okay, so when we say clean up our image, this is what we're talking about. And always use this nice little feature down here that shows you exactly what it's gonna look like once it gets to that cut, right? Once you put it on your Cricut machine, on your mat, okay? So you would continue with this. And if this is what you wanted, if you were cutting this out of vinyl or something, um, usually when you're cutting images, you, you generally save it as a print and cut, but there might be some times that you just wanna uh, save it as the, the weld or not the weld, excuse me. You just wanna save it as the cut feature. But again, this is the print and cut on the left and this is the cut image, okay? So we would save this. 
go ahead and save. You can uh, change the name there if you'd like. And I'm gonna go ahead and insert this into my canvas. We call this the canvas space, okay? And that's why it's called canvas up there. And so this is referred to as your canvas. Up here in the little corner, in between the zeros, if you click on that, you can get grids, okay? So if you do like grids, go ahead and turn that on. You can get a uh, quarter inch ones or you can get the inch size ones, or you can make it blank if you don't like that look, okay? And so that's how you clean up an image and what we refer to um, in Cricut is removing the areas that you want to have cut out, okay? And so I really hope that that helps. Let me know if you guys have any other questions. I tried to show you what, just the, the basics of cleaning up and I can, I'll show you what layered SVGs and all that is in another video, okay? But for now, let me know if this is helpful and if it's not and if there's anything that you still uh, need to be answered. I hope all is well. Stay blessed and happy crafting.